Ah, we love a, another fine mess. These chapter titles are so funny. Hmm. No knock on the door this time. Maybe it didn't work. I guess I should take a look around. Okie dokie. Anything new in the cabinet? Fresh out of cool stuff. Damn. Oh, there she is. And the guide? Uh, what is the meaning of this, you addle plot? Why are you preventing me from seeing Astrid? <laughs> oh, come now, Miss Amethyst. I know what the two of you are up to. You're trying to break the rules, and we can't have that. Besides, as is plain to see, Miss Bray just joined us regardless. Uh, what? What's going on? <sighs> oh, they perkin. I felt you calling out to me, but this awful adult plot stopped me in my tracks. What the fuck? What's the big idea, guide? <sighs> uh, watch your tone. Nothing ever happens in purgatory without my approval, and I've been quite clear from the start that this is your journey to be undertaken. Mm hmm? Naturally, I had to step in. Oh. I will aid my game seed no matter what you say or do. Why, you feel that strongly about her, do you? But you barely know her. <laughs> As 400 years of obsessively putting together worthless trinkets finally driven you to desperation when it comes to company. Wow. Why, I believe you'd reconsider your position if you only knew what a naughty girl Miss Braid has been. And speaking of knowing, did you know, Miss Astrid, that dear Miss Amethyst is actually married? Oh. Uh, what? Oh. You ambidex, an ambidextrous rogue. How dare you? Uh. I dare. The two of you sorely need to learn your place. Hmm. However, I'm nothing if not full of kindness. Are you really? Of course. In fact, I brought you both here to propose a deal. A deal? Yeah. Miss Braid, you want more answers, and apparently you're not willing to wait even a couple of measly centuries to get them. I can respect such tenacity. So, here's my proposal. I will give you the answers you seek, if you assist Miss Amethyst in leaving Purgatory. I mean, isn't that all of our goals here? That... Ah. Oh, what? You see, I've grown frightfully tired of her antics. She's a menace to the neighborhood, and as a result, I keep getting complaints. Ah. You need to be weeded out for help. <laughs> However, it's outside my power to exterminate humans, so the only way for me to get rid of pests is to have them leave. But I... That's my offer. Take it or leave it. So, I help Rahel, and then you'll help me? Exactly. But if she leaves Purgatory... Then you'll be alone again, yes. But hey, play your cards right, and you may even leave together, right? Work hard, play hard. Ah. I feel dirty for saying that. I apologize profusely. <laughs> anyway, have fun, girls. That, uh... Was quite a lot to take in, huh? Nipperkin, would you kindly accompany me to my room? Oh, of course. But, um, how? Hmm? Just approach the door and think of me. It's that easy. Should've known. Okay, here goes. Oh, nice <laughs> room. Well done, Nipperkin. Not my first teleport. It's really pretty in here. Bit hard to see with all the hanging stuff everywhere, though. You'll get used to it with time. I bet. Um, about what the guide said. Is it, is it true? Oh. Yes. I died married to a wealthy man, so yes, I have had a husband. I see. But you died, so I mean, wouldn't that make you ma not married now? That's right. When consumption took my life, he became a widower. Consumption? Homegirl, come on. Come on, you have to have read a book. At least just one book. It's That's really all it takes. 
that's what we used to call that disease when I was alive. It consumes you from within until nothing but a frail husk remains. All disease eats you up. Is she talking about tuberculosis? <laughs> Anyways, oh. this is what he does. He says spiteful things, spinning Banbury stories if needed, all of it to hurt. <gasps> I hope you don't think less of me now. Of course not. What happened when we were alive stays right there, as far as I'm concerned. Wish I knew what he was referring to when talking about me, though. You don't recall? No, my memories are all blurry. Especially when it comes to details concerning my death. I see. But hey, now I'll get to help you, and then I'll get answers, and then we can leave. Together. I mean, <laughs> if you want to. I'm... Oh. I don't want nor need your help, Nipperkin. Rahel, I... <gasps> Could you leave me alone for a while? I need to ponder. Did I say something wrong? Oh. Please, just... Give me some time. Okay, I will. We can talk more later. <sighs> I'm sorry. I've never seen her like this before. Something is definitely strange about this whole situation. Could it be that she actually doesn't want to leave? <gasps> oh, I want to snoop. I know she just said to leave, but boy, I want to snoop just a little bit. I want to look at stuff. What's this? Something written on here. Poetry? May not be a brother of the quill, but nonetheless, my heart be still. She keeps me safe from all the molly grubs. Want to give her back some rubby rubs. <laughs> rubby rubs? <laughs> oh! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please leave that alone. Sorry, I'm sorry. Just don't look at stuff. Look at this painting. It's beautiful and calming. Not entirely unlike Rahel herself. I didn't say that out loud, right? What's a drawer? The drawer is full of those baubles. Aw, oh, nice. Fruits of several centuries worth of labor, I suppose. Uh, another one of your uh, baubles, huh? <laughs> the first one I ever made. My lucky charm. I keep it safe in here, away from all the swill bellies. What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Never again, what are you doing? Oh, sorry, I was so... Um... Never mind. <laughs> oh, it's funny. This bed looks real big and much more comfortable than mine. Hey, I got gypped. So, I wonder if it's too late to ask for a new one. Uh, or maybe we can share. <laughs> Please don't touch those. I'm sorry. But what's in them? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, parts for building crystal orbs. My way of sorting them is very deliberate, so if you start looking around, I must immediately spend time fixing the mess. Oh, so, no, that's not- Girl, girl, don't make this about you. You don't think I can open drawers without making a mess? It's just something I have to do, Nebrkin. Uh -huh. Don't take offense. Okay. Can we- can I say bye? I should leave her alone. Okay. Bye. You fucking turd. Why you gotta be spilling other people's tea? This is rude. Hmm? Miss Brain. What the fuck is your deal? Hmm. Excuse me. You don't want us working together, but then you make us an offer that allows us to work together anyway? Isn't that a bit counterintuitive? Uh. The audience. If this ignorant human. Uh huh. I already told you, didn't I? Nothing happens here without my approval. Oh, so you're just a little control freak and you don't like shit happening under your nose. You attempted to team up, so I had to make the rules clear. 
Sounds to me like you're just a little control freak. Hmm. Quite simplified, but if that's how you want to view it, then go ahead, Miss Braid. At any rate, you should be thankful for this stellar opportunity. Seems like I'm getting under his skin, even just a little bit. <clears throat> what if Hell doesn't want my help? Mm -hmm. Oh, but she does. Yeah, but she asked me to leave her alone. Aren't you humans supposed to have? What's the word? Oh, <laughs> empathy. That's the one. What the fuck do you mean? Miss mm -hmm. Braid, when you died, you had barely been sentient for 20 years. Yet you felt a strong attachment to existing. She has been here for hundreds of years. That's quite a lot of time to build up pesky humans, human feelings such as despair and anxiety, you know, just to name a few. You're saying that she's afraid to move on? Who knows? Well, I mean, I do, but that's beside the point. <laughs> Whatever the reason, it's abundantly clear that she's not ready quite yet, wouldn't you say? And that's where you come in. Get rid of her for me, Astrid. Lead her wretched soul out of here and I will provide the answers you seek. <laughs> that's a gentleman's promise. Okay, for whatever that's worth. <clears throat> Can I really trust him? <sighs> okay. Hmm. Hmm. Do I want to go to my room? Maybe not. Anything new? Nope. <laughs> really waiting for that cover to get more useful stuff. Oh, hey! Look! You're, uh, out of the bar? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> So it seems. What's the occasion? Well, I can't go for a damn walk without getting the third degree. Um, sorry. Sorry, but that's right. Sorry. Mm. Mm. Well, if you have to know, got bored with drinking. For now, at least. I needed time to do some thinking. Turns out that I do that better when sober. Surprise, surprise. <sighs> and I uh, met that magic lady. You mean Rahel? Yeah. And that made you sad somehow? Huh? You look sad, Lock. Oh, right. Damn. Well, look, it's just... I heard her and that bastard talk, so I realized that she was on her way to helping you. Oh. Guess I was kind of hoping that you'd come to me for help. What? I... Sorry. I get it. It's your choice to make. I was just hoping to be of more use to you. You know, after what you did for me and all. Lock, I, uh... I, please don't take it personally. It's just, she... Well, I need her by my side. I hope you can understand. And hey, all I really did was get you a coin. I understand that there's more to it than that, but I promise. If you just open your heart a bit... There, you'll meet lots of people who'd love to be there for you. Even though it feels so very hard sometimes. You're a good man, Locke. I know you are. <sighs> hey, I don't need you humoring me. If you don't want my help, you're not getting it. <laughs> That's your loss. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'll see you around, Locke. Hmm. I won't be waiting. Now I feel bad. Now I feel bad. No, he looks so sad. I'm gonna cry. Please, I, 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 I die. <sighs> hey, stupid wishing well. Well, well, well. Hope you're not hungry, because you're not getting any new stuff from me today, because I don't have anything else. But, oh man, I feel so sad now. It's fine, I'll go back and pick the other option at some point. Man, I'm really sad in the meantime, though. Shit. I mean, I've already- Oh, I guess I could talk to these two idiots. 
<laughs> oh no, it's you. Nice to see you too, Esterbeth. Um, finished the drink yet? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Classy. <laughs> Whatever, princess. <laughs> what can you tell me about purgatory? Mm. I thought it sucks. Great input, thanks. <laughs> Why are you so mean to me? Mm. Yes, master, please. I mean to everyone, okay? You're not like special. <laughs> Yes, master, really? You heard me. <laughs> Probably wasting my time even asking this, but oh, we can help. We can ask you for help. Hmm. I don't even know what I'm asking for. Uh, damn. Huh? I made a deal with you know who. He told me if Miss Brain comes to you for help, you have to use your special talent to assist her. In return, he got me a free platter of steamed vegetables and some booze. Since I never thought you'd be like dumb enough to actually talk to me again after last time, I considered this deal to be extremely lucrative and free of any effort. Oh, rookie mistake. I see. So, um, what exactly is this special talent? I can fart the whole off of it. <laughs> okay, I kind of love her. <laughs> I mean, credit where credits do that. <laughs> that is impressive, but I'm not sure that's very helpful. I'm joking, you absolute troll. Oh my god. My talent is that if you give me an object that belongs to someone, I can use it to project a physical manifestation of someone's inner workings. Wow, that sounds very complicated. It is. <clears throat> but it's also extremely convenient for your needs, so like, take it or leave it. I'll take it. So, I need to get you something that belongs to a hell then, right? That is literally what I said just a few seconds ago, yeah. I'm just making sure. <laughs> See you. I can't wait. <laughs> I kind of love her. <laughs> I should hey. What's new with you, I guess? Actually, I have like grand plans. I'm thinking of taking a nap. <laughs> um, I mean, congrats, but what's grand about that? I'm not setting any alarms. When I wake up, <laughs> who knows what will be different? New people to get to know, new naive arrivals just like waiting for me to prank them. Or, or, you know, not prank them. <laughs> also, my smiling muscles are in desperate need of some rest. It's actually a lot of work smiling all the time. Yeah, I can imagine. Good luck with that, then. <sighs> Who needs luck when you've got smiles? <sighs> the guide made a deal with me? That sounds scary, Astrid. Well, I mean, I can see this in his favor. He's unpredictable and a bit scary, but like he does honor his promises. For example, I was sad all the time before, so I asked him to make him, me happy. And now I have a permanent smile carved into my face, never to change, ever. Oh my God, that's horrifying. <laughs> Just kidding, the smiling is all me. He did give me a book of bad jokes though. But seriously, that's his thing. You can, like, trust him when he's the one laying down the rules. Do you understand? I think so. Okay, bye. Uh, not if I see you first. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Talking to Smiley is exhausting. Oh no, dogs are barking. What was I doing? More important things. Such as... Was I talking to you? Hmm. Uh... Ezra told me that... Told, said that you told her to help me. Jesus Lord. What's the big idea? Hmm? 
You shouldn't like look a gift horse in the mouth, Miss Bray. Ah. Uh. Oh, did I use that proverb incorrectly? Close enough. It never really made much sense to me, I must admit. Hmm. Humans are such strange creatures, staring haphazardly down the throats of equines like that. That's not what it means. You know what? Never mind. I'm leaving. Hmm. Am I just supposed to go back to... I'm not gonna lie, I really don't remember what I was doing. Our... Can we talk? No. Somewhere else. Do you want to talk? <sighs> oh no, <laughs> it's you. Nice to see you too, Ezra Beth. Goodbye! <laughs> hey, nobody has anything new to say to me. Where the fuck am I supposed to be going? Oh shit, can I go this way now? Soon, I hope. Soon, TM. Well, well, well. Nothing. Okay, I'm actually really confused, though. You were just being a sad little, sad little bean. I'm sorry. Can I? No. Hmm. Should I wait? Wonder who has the record for the longest time sitting on this depressing bench. Hmm. Um. Well. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Can I order something? Come try our new and delicious food concept in which you don't actually eat, but instead listen to nonsensical phrases being shouted out loud. Example, oh, nope. I can't read that, I'm sorry. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so some of these do have new- <laughs> It's better to burn out than to fade away. Boy. Boy, we're getting real edgy as we're trying to wait for shit. Witnessing the continued plight of the hungry snake as it desperately tries to eat its own tail somehow fills me with the determination. Six o'clock, now and forever. We meet again, Dartboard, my mortal enemy. Long have you ravaged the countryside with impunity, but that ends today. On guard! I really need to get out of this place. Oh god. Um, not in the mood. What in the hell? Is there really nothing to do in my room? Drawing a blank as to why I should open this. Please don't. Please just stop. Hi there, Reflection. You're never gonna believe what I'm about to tell you, but you're dead. Crazy, right? Still hot, though. Hey, Life was so much easier back then. Regret that I only had one life to waste watching this show. <laughs> it's poster advertising. Ah, oh, yes, this. Wait a minute. GGG. Gothic goth girls. <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh my god, can it be that I was actually in this crappy movie? Aw oh man. <clears throat> we have a poster for our own movie up on our wall. You know, that makes sense. For her, that 100% makes sense. I don't have time to read. What? Oh. <sighs> You're- stop. <laughs> I do love that there are new things that we say when looking at everything, but also half of this is terrible. <laughs> I wonder if the, I can take this with me when I leave. Yep, the abyss is still staring. Fresh out of cool stuff. Hmm. All I have is my freaking pamphlet. One of my... Sabostado. Hmm. Hmm. I'm wasting my time. Listen, I know that. 
Well, I looked at everything in my room. Wait. I was supposed to grab something. Large drawer. Full of those baubles. Hey, can I take one of these? I need it for, um, something. Oh, I'm sorry, Nipperkin, but those are either imperfect or discarded. Can't have them out in the wild. But I really need one. I'm flattered that you are so taken by them, but I'm afraid I must still say no. Um, I can't tell her why I need one. Uh, okay. Can I secretly take one? What's in the box? What? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Nipperkin, what are you doing? Oh, I was... Never mind. Um... I don't want to take your your nice one. I'm gonna Aww. I'm gonna try and take one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. Okay, maybe distract. Okay, 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 okay. Um, what if? What if I? <gasps> Please don't touch those. What's in them? I already read this. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I love you. I'm so sorry. I'm doing this because honestly, I don't quite remember why, but I'm sorry. Ugh. Astrid. <sighs> no. My delicate system. Why would you do that? I'm really sorry, Renal. I'll have to make this up to her later. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's distracted, so now I can easily grab a bubble from her little storage. Let's see. Ooh, this one looks extra shiny. It really didn't matter which one we take, right? That's... I mean, that's probably probably good though, right? Stole another strange bubble. Hopefully the end justifies the means. I'm really, really sorry. I'm really sorry. Please tell me you have something good for this. I brought it. Oh, happy day. Well, show it to me then. Oh, you're even, dumb, even dumber than I look. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here, 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 here. Jeez. Um, will this do? <laughs> sure. Let me get to work. How long is this gonna take? All right, done. Wow, okay. <laughs> here you go. Crucified cuddly. Excuse me? Excuse me, what? Huh? What? Little pink beer nailed to a cross. What the fuck? What the f what the fuck? What the actual hell is this? It's what you need. Is it really? Yeah. This is a representation of your friend's inner self, given physical form. You're saying Rahel is a crucified bear? <sighs> Dang, Asatron, you even make me look smart. And I'm just a cynical drunk. It's symbology. It obviously means something more than what you see on a surface level. God, duh. Try showing it to her and see what happens. Okay. Guess I should go. Yeah. And more importantly, you need to leave me alone. Okay, fine, sheesh. Thanks for your help, though, I guess. Hmm. Suck it. <laughs> okay, <bye. laughs> Wild.